Hi everybody, this is Laurels, here with a new episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we went through the mysterious power plant, and we caught Zapdos, which we nicknamed Jasp, and, well, now I'm just enjoying a nice morning back home with my mom at Pallet Town. But I did a couple of things while I was away. Mainly checking out the surfing routes that you can find before actually stepping out onto the big open sea. So let me continue on and explain the ones I went through. Well, one, on Route 12, right below the route from Lavender Town, there's a small island that you can surf to where you can find Skill Swap. The TM for Skill Swap, which allows you to... Well, switch your ability with your opponents, or your ability with your targets, if you're doing double battles. And lastly, there is actually a move tutor in Viridian City across a little puddle. And the move tutor is the move tutor for Dream Eater. Dream Eater is a special attack, psychic move, basically, which allows you to basically sap HP from your opponent while they're sleeping. Pretty powerful move at that. Anyway, let's continue on. Bye, Mom! I'm heading out to have adventures! Jen, you should take a quick rest. Okay, fine. I'll postpone my, like, trip just a little bit. Oh, good. You and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now! Okay. Ah, <sighs> Pallet Town. We're finally going to be surfing away from from Pallet Town's port. And we're on Route 21. Now there's a patch of grass here, but it only has one Pokemon. Tangela! You remember from Erica's gym? That little, like, big mess of vines? Well, you can catch one here if you want. Now, this route doesn't- I forgot to get repels. Give me a sec. Okay, got some super repels. I got 10 to be exact. Used up one right now. Now, there isn't much going on on this route except for, you know, trainers. So I'm going to try to avoid as many as I can. Oh, there's actually something on this island if I can find it. Hmm. Well, I don't know. There's actually supposed to be an item here. I think it's either Stardust or a big pearl or just a regular pearl. Can't remember which. But that just wasted a whole lot of steps. Do, 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 do. I'm a fail. Gotta get there. Oh my gosh. Huh. In your face, swimmer. Oh. You can just get on these islands to avoid the swimmers. It's hilarious. Oh. And here we are. We are now on... Cinnabar Island. Woo! Nothing much happens on Cinnabar Island. Only a few things to mention here and there. One, they have a gym right over here. Two, you can actually catch new Pokemon here. Well, you could catch them before, but you didn't have the Super Rod, because you can only fish it up with the Super Rod. And that Pokemon is Shelder. Shelder is a pure water type, famous in the anime for having, for being the source of Slowpoke's evolution line. In other words, it had to either bite its tail or its head, causing them to evolve and causing some sort of, like, symbiotic relationship between the two. Shelter also can evolve using a water stone into Cloyster, a ice and water type. Cloyster has godly levels for defense, and it can learn spikes leveling, leveling up and rapid spin through careful breeding which are two very beloved tournament moves. However, 
if attacked with special based moves, Cloister can easily fall, since it has horrible special defense. And it loses its defense against fire as well, which is kind of a shame because the s Cinnabar Gym, I keep on trying to call it Cerulean or Vermilion or something, Cinnabar Gym is actually fire type. Blaine, the hothead quiz master. Oh man, don't even get me started there. Oh, repels effect wore off. <laughs> Now this here is the Pokemon Lab. Not much happens in here either, but there are some, like, trades that can actually be done here. People often bring us rare Pokemon for examination. Yes, there are actually some Pokemon trades that you can do here. Oops. <laughs> for one, you can trade an Electrode for a Raichu. Think of this guy. Yeah, you have a Raichu. Would you trade for my Electrode? No. And I think this woman... Hi, do you have a Venonat? Want to trade for my Tangela? You can get a Tangela in a trade if you give her a Venonat. Though I don't know why you did this. I found this most remarkable fossil inside Mount Moon. I think it's a rare prehistoric Pokemon. And also, this is the place where you can revive your fossil Pokemon that you've got. Oh, Metronome. I didn't know they had the Metronome move tutor here. Metronome is basically a move which causes your Pokemon to use a move at a move at random. One the Pokemon may or may not know. Eevee can evolve into one of three. Nope, no he can't. You lie, sir. <laughs> Laughter. Hello. I'm looking for the Pokemon Ponyta. Want to trade for my seal? Now, we can't get Ponyta yet. Hiya! I'm an important doctor. Yes, very much so indeed. Here I study rare Pokemon fossils. All the time I study. You! You have a fossil for me? This is the guy you want to talk to when you want to revive your fossils from both Mount Moon and also that small building right next to the museum in Pewter City. Pewter City has a fossil there called the Old Amber, and from the Old Amber, you can revive Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is a rock flying type Pokemon, and it's so strong that it can level the playing field in any battle easily. It has blistering speed to get in all the hits it can, it can do before it gets KO'd by its several common weaknesses. Nah, I don't feel like bringing back any Pokemon from the dead just yet. <laughs> but yeah. Now I'm hoping that there's actually one more thing that I can get in before anything else. Scientists conduct experiments in that burned out building. You know, the one they call Pokemon Mansion. Ooh, Pokemon Mansion. <laughs> that is for another video entirely. I will be going into the gym, but not today, not the next episode. Cinnabar's gym's Blaine is quite an odd fellow. He lived on an island since- he's lived on the island since way before the lab was built. Yeah, you know, this town seems to be centered on this lab, and I don't really know why that is. Cinnabar Island, fiery town of burning desire. How many fire-type puns can we fit into one town? As small as Cinnabar. Anyway, I think this might actually be the best time in order to end the video. So, this is Laurel Eevees. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the links in the video description below. And see you all next time.